Hello and welcome to the first 20 minute conference from Talk on making the most of the Euros. We've got with us today, we've got Budweiser, we've got DK Forecourt, we've got Heart of England, we've got Coca-Cola, and we're going to do the whole thing in, in 20 minutes, so we're not messing around. But the theme of the day is making the most of the Euros. So let's uh, start off straight away with um, Budweiser Brewing Group. Let's bring that, let's bring that. Ed, Holly, welcome to, welcome to our 20-minute conference. We've got <laughs> about five minutes. How do you fancy sharing some of your plans, letting the retailers know, help them make the most of the Euros? Yeah, definitely. Thanks for having us, first of all. Um, so I'm Ed, I look after the trademark inside for Budweiser and Bud Light at BBG. Um, and as you can see from the TV others just played, we are the officially the official beer of England with Bud Light. And we'll be activating across the Budweiser family in trade, which is super exciting and unlocking a load of volume that we haven't done before. Um, our, three, our hero activation is our box head piece, which you'll get to see in a sec. Um, but the good news is, is that all three players were selected yesterday in the final squad. So you'll see them all playing for England, which is the first big win for us, for sure. Um, I but yeah, I'll think that when I saw them, by the way. Pardon? You laughed that loud? No, I did think that all these players now have to all be picked. Exactly. That was a thing. It was a big risk. And uh, working from, working with footballers is always pretty fun. But uh, yeah, it was a risk. But uh, luckily, we landed on our feet and they all got selected. And uh, Southgate seems to be on our side. Maybe you just love the Bud Light. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll let Holly explain our trade plans. So, um, hi guys, I'm the Trade Marketing Executive uh, for Budweiser Brewing Group, looking after wholesale and convenience. Um, so, overall, our plans, we have Ed just explained what's happening above the line. So, below the line for retailers, firstly, we have some fantastic depot displays across England, Wales, and Scotland. The retailers, if you go into any of uh, your local depots, you'll be able to see these amazing displays that really, really hero um, our box heads. Um, so, you'll be able to see Trippier, Walker, and Pickford um they're displayed beautifully um you'll also be able to pick up um in store as well a um a, a countertop unit that has our amazing premium um aluminium Budweiser aluminium cups and these can be used as a gift with purchase for you to sell any um any of the bud family in your store to help drive sales and then in addition to that we also have some fantastic pos kits um, all targeted for um, Wales, Scotland and England. So we're not leaving anybody out. Um, and these POS kits include bunting, window clings, um, little open and close signs, anything that you could possibly need to help you bring this really euphoric moment um, to England, Scotland and Wales um, for the Euros as everyone's able to enjoy the football together. In addition to this, um, we also have a fantastic um, box head um, retailer video coming out where we've actually um, employed some retailers to um, to take part in a video and to really hero um, box heads with us and to show how fantastic they can look in a retail store. Um, so please keep your eyes peeled from that on our um, official Bud Light Twitter page um, in the coming weeks. And lastly, in addition to that, we'll be hearing heroing our three um, our three players, um, Trippier, Walker and Pickford, in each of their hometowns with a retailer too. So we're going to deck out their entire store, really heroing these players um, in Sheffield, Sunderland and uh, and Bury. So if you get a chance to go and see any of these, um, any of these stores, please do have a look and go take a visit um, because they're going to be decked out uh, brilliantly and there's going to be some photo ops um, there as well so you can get your picture taken with a uh, Pickford standee if you're a fan or um, with a Walker standee as well so um, yeah keep a look out and um, yeah hope everyone enjoys the Euros I'll certainly be rooting for England uh, for sure. Lots of pictures for us Holly for Sea Talk please on these in these stores we'll share that. Absolutely. We're getting a photographer to go down and to take pictures of these stores. So as soon as we have them, Paul, we'll send them right over to you. Good stuff. And, and just as a reminder, then, how do we get the um, hold of the POS kits and counter unit and, and things? Because these sound like a really good assets for, for retailers to support the in-store stuff. 
Yeah, absolutely. So these are across um, across 55 depots um, in the UK where you can actually go in and pick them up um, as part of picking up the Bud family. There'll be various deals on um, in different uh, depots for you to pick up both the countertop units and the POS kits. Um, so just keep your eyes peeled and ask in your local depot if they're available and they should be there. Nicely done. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Shall we have a look at the video? Genius. Genius. Yeah, yeah. Bob, you can wear them. What more can we say? <laughs> but you don't need to say anything. <laughs> well done, guys. That's awesome. The time Amazing. amazingly is up. Don't disappear. We'll just put you backstage. And Great. Um, Cheers, I'm going to speak to uh, my friend Kurt from, D from DK Forecourts. Hello, Paul. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome. Uh, Welcome. Uh, Minute conference. You see how quick five minute goes. It's unbelievable. It's good though. <laughs> um, right. Well, we find events like this um, a massive footfall driver in our stores. Um, I run ten forecourts in the south. Small group of ten forecourts in the South Wales, and um, we predominantly, as you know, a rugby nation. Yes. But because we had a great run in, fantastic run in 2016. It's, it's boosted the following of football massively. We've got a big following anyway, but um, because of the 2016 run, it's even more predominant now because because of that. When we're open for better things this time, we'll see what happens. <laughs> There's some strong teams there, England being one of them. <laughs> um, what we're doing in store... Um, I think you're on the video, Kurt. I'm sorry? I think you're being kind because you're on video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well... Um, in store, we are trying to uh, align our range of products um, big with a big uh, product marketing we see on TV. Mm -hmm. um, so customers can find current trend products in our store because what they see on television, we try and use them as a benchmark with the big boys like Einigen and Budweiser and, and the likes. So we make sure we got those products in stock and they're displayed right. I mean, Einigen are doing a massive amount of in-store display for us. Uh, we are working with their... Um, uh, they being the main sponsor and Coca-Cola. We're working with their people on the ground. So they come into the store yeah, yeah. and making sure everybody knows the Euros are on because we got everything there that they need. We got the beer, the alcohol, we got the barbecues. Hopefully, if this fine weather continues, we got loads of barbecues. Um, and we activate uh, point of sale in store, like we got dump bins, um, all sorts of things. And of course, with COVID, we think now people will. Uh, seem to be having groups at home, so they they, they party mm -hmm. in the back garden. A lot of people have built these, well, like some call man caves or women caves in the back gardens for social events because they're still a little bit afraid. I think to go into public houses, so we see this event as a, a massive uh, uh, opportunity, if you like, um, <clears throat> to push, like I say, barbecues, the alcohol, and all uh, goes with products that goes with that. Um, mm. we got band, we got loads of bunting on stock. We got glasses. I, I think they're doing 2020, they're still marked 2020. So, I understand this is marketed as the 2020 euros. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we still got loads of glasses we're giving up with 2020 on, and we're just creating loads of theater in store and taking maximum advantage. So, I think it's on for five weeks. I think this tournament is running for five uh, weeks. Yeah, uh, yeah, so you know. What, what an opportunity for you know, to get switched on in every store and tell people, look, you know, let's get behind England, but most importantly, let's get behind Wales. Uh, I knew that was coming. As a forecourt, you can, you can really stack up the, the big slabs of beers. And the yeah, and, a lot and we, got, yeah we, have, we have 24 hour licenses on a few of our sites because uh, we have 24 hour sites and we got 24 hour licenses. So 
we're hoping that we're going to be really busy. Not too late at night, but we do get people partying to all hours, especially if their team wins. So um, yeah. we're looking forward to that. May have to put some extra staff on, hopefully, and you know get prepared for it. Uh, because like anything, when you're really busy, you know, it brings other extra slight not problems, but things that you need extra staff and and you know different things like that. But yeah, we're open for good things, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. And especially with the help from our suppliers and whatnot, as I've already said, uh, we're ready to go with it. So um, let's hope we all have a good tournament. I let the best team win. Uh, well, this is what we need. We need we need our teams to stay in as long as possible. And the Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, I say 2016 for us was beyond belief, really, and uh, yeah, that's made us a big difference in Wales following football. I think we are, we are at last trying to be seen as a football nation as well as a, a rugby nation. I think you're right. So, Kurt, thank you so much for uh, okay well, your plan for this. It goes yeah. incredibly quick, the five minutes, but it is. It's up already, is it? Oh, good. No, <laughs> don't go. We'll just we'll just put you backstage. And um, we're going to welcome now um, Paul Hiskins from CCP. Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Great. Welcome, Paul. Thank you for joining us. No, for thank you so much for having me on. Really appreciate it. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through a little bit about um, Coca-Cola and what we're doing for the tournament this time around. I know just Kurt was uh, bigging up 2016 there, Paul, and I'm trying to forget 2016 as an England fan. Those of you might uh, remember we lost to Iceland. So five minute presentation. That's This is the way forward. I love it. I'm going to talk through three things very quickly. Why the Euros is a big opportunity, really. Why soft drinks are really important and also what we're doing to help support the convenience trade this time around. So, um, some of these numbers are quite stunning really soft soft drink sales really take off during when the football's on particularly big tournaments so during the last 2018 world cup uh soft drinks increased by 71 million pounds in terms of value and that's more than any other category um wow. fans have had to wait another year for the euros obviously it is the 2020 euros as kurt referenced there england scotland and wales have qualified that's the first time in more than 60 years so huge hype uh, and we'll get bigger viewing figures and, you know, clearly a legacy of lockdown is people wanting to get together and do things together as friends and family. Um, so, you know, it's a really important time to, to get those big categories of soft drinks, alcohol and snacks all together. You know, the convenience retailer always does it really well anyway, but this time it's a special opportunity to make, make the most of it. Um, some special tips from us probably on soft drinks is... Um, Go to the brands that are the top performing in, this, in your relevant sectors, right? Colas drive more sales during the football and Coca-Cola is the, is the fan's favorite. It's four times bigger at tournament times in terms of value than our nearest competitor. But flavors and mixers are also big. Fanta Sprite, Dr. Pepper, get the Schweppes in stock. Don't forget to get those other items together, mainly because you've got meal times. All the kickoffs are at two o'clock, five o'clock and eight o'clock. So key yeah. meal time occasions for all your fans. Um, Make sure that you drive, get the awareness right. You'll see the on packs coming up on there. So we've got two great big on packs that are taking taking part during, and they've actually just launched this week. So get them in, get them in your stores, and uh, maximise on the hype from from those uh, from those opportunities. And make sure you stock the right packs as well. So generally, get those big packs in for those sharing opportunities as well. How are we supporting? Well, we're an official soft drinks partner partner of the tournament. And we're helping to engage not only with the with the on pack, but allowing people to use point of sale and lots of digital match planners, which are really useful for your social media sites as well. If I leave you with four things, think the acronym goal, right? Go to brands, you know they deliver. Other items, make sure you cross merchandise in your soft drinks range with snacks and meals. Awareness through your on pack promotions and in-store displays, and then those larger pack formats for those sharing occasions at home. And hopefully I've managed to stick within my five minutes there, Paul. You, you absolutely have incredibly well done. We might have a picture of um, one, one of our retailers in store. Let's have a quick look at some of what the retailers are doing with you here. So this is, uh, I know this is one stop in, in Coventry, Mount Nod, I think. And then if we can get inside the store, I think we can see some incredible stuff that Aman's doing there. Yeah, and there are some fantastic opportunities here to drive some real theatre in store. So if you go yeah. to mypcp.com, 
register we can provide you with lots of that information as well as you many retailers doing their own special things as uh, aman does here extremely well in one stop show a quick picture of my ccp just so that we can give the retailers a, a flavor of uh of what that might look and, and feel like now it's the website that we were uh, we're looking to pull up you can never look at those packs often enough though paul i like that no, this, no. Is my, yeah, this is my ccp.com so uh, please head there and register and we'll provide you with some fantastic packs that you can use in your stores so this is where you can get the the pos and match planners and uh social that's media right. for your own digital media that's right yeah brilliant thank you so much no Thanks. thank you for, thank you very much nice today to speak on it it goes really really quick but it's good honestly <laughs> thank you so much paul don't go we'll put you in the uh, background and, and bring you back in a in a short while in the meantime we're going to speak to steve brown from heart of england steve are you there come in steve good to see you again mate how are you <laughs> So you get you sort of get the final word on this. You're you're the the last <laughs> presenter. What heart, what heart of England are doing for the Euros? We'd love to know. Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, uh, for those that that don't know us, uh, we we operate 35 stores of different sizes, different shapes. So uh, biggest being 9,000 square feet, smallest being sub a thousand. So I guess you've got to be creative in both of them. That you know, at the very very small end, and equally at the very uh, the very high end. The I think what we did certainly leading into the busy bank holiday weekend because we we saw that we we, we treat that as being a, a bit of a double whammy. Um, first and foremost, get ready for the bank holiday, but but secondly, sort of get ready for the Euros at the same time. Yeah, got to say what we did, Paul. We um we give a little bit more of uh, creative license to the stores than we would have ordinarily. I, I felt that the the trading offer, having been around a few stores last week, wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. So what we did was left it to a little bit more of their autonomy. And to be fair, it's paid dividends. Uh, yes. Number one, we've had a cracking weekend. Number two is I think we're set up for for the Euros in a really good way. Um, I did send you through some pictures this morning. I'm not sure if you've seen them, but I think we've, um, yeah, it's it's interesting. I think the, the, the key call outs for me, I think for any retailer watching would be, and some of the guys have already said this, but I think you've got to get the the the, the key brands in the right location. I think you've got to get the the adjacencies right. So I think it's all about sort of ease of shop. I think big pack format certainly in terms of um, the alcohol, big big packs. I think not notwithstanding as well things like six six packs of canned coke uh, as an option. We're calling that out in a big way. The adjacencies between the the, the snacking. Um, we've actually brought in some footballs. We've brought in the the general merchandise. So, i.e., predominantly England branded uh, general merchandise, so flags and bunting yeah. and stuff. And then I think really importantly, you've got to add theatre. I think if you don't add the theatre, I think you you know you're not calling it out as well as you could. And I think therefore you've got to utilise whatever you've whatever you can get your hands on, be it from your symbol group, your your, your brand partner or other. And certainly, we being a co-op um, are, are using all of the bunting, all of the decals, and the windows um any anything the, the 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 posters the other big thing and i think kurt did say it i think because of the game times you've got to call out staffing as well i think predominantly what i found in my experience of being a retail operator is you will clearly trade heavy up to the game times and then it will probably peter away that yeah. said not everybody wants to watch the football and i think equally kurt said it as well before you know, don't forget that this will lead to garden parties. This could lead to cocktail making. This could lead to the to the barbecue, um, even like the picnic food, the grazing food. The other massive call out for us as well as the we call it the fake away box, so the, the, mm. the like meal in the eight quid box box meal. And also, we've got a fantastic, and I'll give Budweiser a plug here. We've got a great offer on at the minute: two pizzas and a uh, four pack of Budweiser for a fiver. So. Um, right. That's coming through lovely. So um, don't forget that. And just also use all of your channels um, that you've got available. We're using our install till screens, our our install radio. And finally, because I'm running out of time, yeah. is don't forget to get the colleagues engaged. 
Yeah, yeah. I think that's super, super important. And I think some of the things we're going to do are charity dress down days. So it'll be where your England top or whatever. And we will be running things like double discount across the, the key game times. Um, that's it. I think I'm five minutes in. Probably could have talked for 55 minutes. minutes but... Steve, thank you. That's absolutely awesome. I'm going to, um, we've, we've got a few seconds left. Uh, if the studio could bring back yeah, Kurt and Ed and Hannah and Paul. Brilliant. Thank you all. Well done. Well done to absolutely everyone for um, for managing to stick to time. We are, I think we've got some themes here that are actually we've really pulled out. I think there is stuff, a lot of stuff around theatre and making the most of the, the theatre that you can you can create in store, thinking about the staff, what you can do there. But think about the key categories and we've very deliberately pulled out beer and soft drinks, but also I think snackings come up. And to think about how they can work together and create adjacencies and uh, and make the most of the opportunity. So time's up. Final thoughts, predictions. Paul, I'll go with you first. Yeah, well, well I mean, I clearly I worked on Rugby World Cup in 2015 in England when that in the group stages, and that was truly horrendous. So all I hope is, my fervent hope is, England, Wales, and Scotland get through the group stages and uh, take it into the latter part of the tournament. So not only we, not only can we uh, cheer them on, but commercially we could all have a good tournament. Hey, great cut. Yeah, I agree with Paul, actually. That's a good point. That's, that's how the four nations get through. Three nations, sorry. I just My son just told me. <laughs> and um, that's what we all have a good tournament. Very good. Steve? I've got to say, I think Paul's answer was superb. I, li I like the, the balance between sort of um, being relatively patriotic and, and, and also commercial at the same time. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I would agree. I would love to see England sort of push on at the latter stages. I think Gareth Southgate went on this morning saying that anything less than semi-final would be a disappointment. So he is hoping he's right. I agree. My prediction, my prediction is semi-final. Ed and Holly. Yeah, I agree with everyone in the room. Semi-final would be great. We'll see all the nations go as far as they can. Um, and with this weather, I think tournament time in the UK is going to be amazing. Perfect. Yeah, I, I, uh, I reiterate every, everything everyone else has said. Basically, I just love to see all three teams uh, get through and get as far as they can, um, because ultimately, I think it would just be a magical, euphoric time for the entirety of the UK to really just enjoy the football this summer. I agree entirely. And that's it. Amazing people are up. Thank you, everyone, for taking part. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great tournament. Cheers. 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 That's it. We're done. We're still.